So, um, Icky, could you tell us um, a bit about your background, your dance background, please? My dance background. Um, I trained in Holland as a ballet dancer. Mm -hmm. um, that was my first to love. Um, and uh, very soon after my training, it became evident to me that actually I didn't want to really be a ballet dancer. <laughs> the structure of ballet companies didn't really suit me. And what I was really interested in was creating new works with choreographers. Mm -hmm. So I, I became a contemporary dancer, danced in Germany, uh, Finland, and then came to London to dance with the then Ballet Rambert, the now Rambert Dance Company. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I freelanced with many contemporary choreographers in this country um, until such a time that you know, I, I went into teaching and started my own school, eventually, Millennium mm -hmm. Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. um, and that's in a nutshell, is about my career, yes. <laughs> Great, thank you. Um, could you say a little bit about your piece the piece that you're making with transitions, anything about themes or the style of it, any ideas? The, the piece I'm making for transitions is really, it's really um, a visual thing for me. It's about, it's about beauty. Mm -hmm. um, um, and in, it's, uh, in that sense, it's about physical beauty of the male and the female. Um, and, and uh, visually expressing that mm -hmm. and the emotions that that can evoke, really. That's really what the piece is about. Okay. And could you sum up your time with um, the company so far with the dancers? What, what, what have you enjoyed about working with them? Um, I've enjoyed every aspect of it so far. They're, uh, you know, great um, bunch of young people who, who, you know, giving a lot in their rehearsals with me and inspiring me a lot. Um, so yes, I'm just looking forward to, to the, the rest of the creation and to finish the piece um, and, and to then see it on stage. And for me, as a choreographer, I, I effectively like seeing my pieces once and then it's in my memory bank and I, that's where I kind of then want to keep it. I don't like seeing them <laughs> over and over again. Mm. So, yes, yeah, it'll be interesting to see them. Yeah, great. they great bunch of dancers, really nice. And as you were late in making the decision to begin choreographing, um, what would you say you're bringing from your experience as a performer and a teacher into your making processes? Um, I think what, what it does when you start late as a choreographer, I think you're very opinionated about what you like and what you don't like. So I have, uh, I think I don't have a problem deciding what I like when I see something. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's, the, that's an interesting thing. So, for me, uh, you know, a choreography uh, is created in a studio usually. Um, I decide what I like or don't like, and so create that piece. And that's the full package. I'm quite easy about deciding that it's finished and that it's done. And I think that's, that's part of what experience does. I'm, I don't waver a lot. <laughs> Um, and following on from that then, what, any advice you could give to um, up-and-coming dancers and or choreographers, either or? <clears throat> uh, up-and-coming dancers, I think uh, it's, a, it's a, such a hard profession <laughs> um, to do. It, I think it always was, and I think it always will be, but um, if you don't have another choice, go for it <laughs> and just enjoy it. Um, and I think most dancers don't have another choice. It's what they have to do. For young choreographers, I think experiment, 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 I think is the name of the game. Just work as much as you can, experiment, use every moment 
uh, you know, when you when you have facilities like this to enjoy, use all of them all of the time. Because one day, you know, when you leave uh, uh, this institution, as it were, <laughs> those facilities won't be so easily to get. So I would say use everything you've got. You know. Great. Thank you very much. Done.